he just said that he was going to hurt a bunch of people at the University of Charleston, and he stopped talking about it. And I said, and I think he thought it went over my head that I didn't catch it. And I was like, what would you say? Why do you want to hurt those people in Charleston? Like, what's your grudge against them? And he never said anything about it. He st just stopped talking about it. And he just said in seven days, they all got seven days, and that was on last week, Wednesday. And then Wednesday coming, he shot all these people in the church. And I don't even think the church was his primary target because he went, he told us he was going for the school. But I think he couldn't get into that school because of the security and all that. He never said it. I've never heard that. Not once did I hear him say it. And we've been drunk plenty of nights. Um, we've been so drunk that he's passed out on, on the side of his car and we had to take him in the house. And not once in, that, in any of that did he say anything racist. Not once. Like, we all took his gun from him. We took his gun and we took it in the house and put it in the air vent. But because of me and Joey's records, we both were not allowed to be around firearms. So his girlfriend was just like, y'all got records. I don't think Dylan's gonna do nothing, just give him his gun back. So we gave him his gun back. I just know that for, that his mom had took the gun from him and somehow, I don't know if he went back and took it from her, or she gave it back to him, I have no idea about that. But he got the gun back and he came over here and then that's when all of us seen the gun for the first time. My opinion about Dylan doesn't change, my feelings about him doesn't change, I still love him as a friend.